Hi Scorpio, welcome back in. You're watching Sacred Sun Tarot. Let's see what messages come through for you, Scorpio. All right, Scorpio. Reverse the rules if needed. Switch the cases. Let's dive in to your reading, Scorpio. Let's see what's happening in your life. Any specific person on your mind you're thinking about, you're dealing with in your current situation. Okay, Scorpio. Wow, there's a new energy here, Scorpio. There, I mean, Aries, you're dealing with. I see you becoming carefree and ready for a new journey. I see you coming from a place where, um, wow, there's a love connection here. There's a strong love connection. I'm picking up some sort of push and pull, con confusion, some sort of resistance. But somehow I see the energy melting down. I see a new beginning taking place in your life. And that's that's like a new journey, a new journey that's starting. For a lot of you, it's a romantic new journey that's starting in your life, Leo. You're giving up. Uh, there's an energy of surrender. There is an energy of surrendering your doubts, your fears, your thoughts to the divine. And ready to take the leap of faith, right? Just ready to take the leap of faith. I see beautiful new sun here. Wow. What else? amazing energy zero to one you know you have the skill you are on the verge to take that step to move towards that new beginning to to initiate something that you always wanted you know you have the skill you know you have the power you know you have everything to manifest that it's amazing it's a new passion in your life new relationship or just working on your current relationship maybe some work life or job thing i see you manifesting here there's an energy of manifestation. Wow, this is quite positive. This is a very positive um, shift that I'm picking up here. You might be dealing with a Cancer Pisces Scorpio here. Somebody very emotional, somebody all over the place. This person is full of emotions. For a lot of you, I see you might have cared, really, really, really cared about this person in past. But because of some reasons, you're realizing that my life is not limited to this energy. I'm going to clarify a lot of things, but this is some, this person is showing up here. This person loves you. They have a huge cup of love here, but because of some reasons, maybe they're ignoring you at the moment. They're not looking at you, but they have a lot of love for you. No doubt. All right, Leo. Oh, I said Leo. And look at the major arcanas here, right? I'm picking up Gemini. I'm picking up Virgo, Scorpio, Aries. A little bit of sad also. And of course, water sign energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I'm sorry. <laughs> cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, water sign energy. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Strong Cancerian energy here. Let's see, Scorpio, what's happening with you. So, Scorpio, I see that uh, Emperor, when it comes at the place of your feelings towards somebody, you're becoming rough. For a lot of you, I'm picking up that you have been really compassionate about this person. But for some reasons, I'm picking up that now what's going to come out is your tough love. You know, Emperor is the energy where you have experienced a lot. And now it's time to apply all your experience in a situation. It's, it can be love. It can be anything. Any water sign you're dealing with at the moment. It's time to apply it now. Emperor is showing me that what you're looking for is something concrete. And that's how you're going to deal with the situation. For a lot of you, I see very less emotions, very less energy of feeling emotional or being, you know, uh, going in the flow emotionally. And by that means, Emperor to the Page of Pentacles. This is the energy where in Scorpio, very practical decision making. Tough love, I heard for somebody. You want something concrete and real and you are um, definitely thinking about something in a very stable way you're not letting your emotions impact you honestly emperor is showing me that whatever you have experienced in your life in past this is the time you apply your practical experience over things some very strong energy like that now who's are you dealing with here oh i'm thinking of quick positive cards for this person this person is very emotional very emotional i see a big contrast here 
somebody is emotional and you are very <clears throat> you're in a different zone you're like a manifester here nine of pentacles queen of cups six of swords okay this person is emotional he is emotional they're trying not to care honestly towards you they're trying not to care this person feels that um, they want compassion from you scorpio it's like look at this combination here they're very emotional and clarify they're trying to move on from something they they're moving on from something with a heavy heart i will clarify yeah we're going to clarify this of course what is this energy they're so emotional they're trying it's like they're trying to show or trying to feel that i don't care but actually they care a lot something very really heavy that they're trying to move on from and picking up might have sorts here they're coming in you're coming in to say something they're coming in to tell something this person is agitated they're feeling cold they feel abandoned i see some manipulative actions are definitely going to be coming towards you when it comes to their energy they're going to decide to uh, you know play tricks and play games and do some things okay all right let's see where is this energy heading for scorpio 10 of cups beautiful 3 of cups and high priestess you know what scorpio i see that intuitively you know some things i don't know about this person or about your family 10 of cups is showing me that overall environment seems positive your cards are appearing super positive here super positive i see there's something that is troubling here that's something that you both are moving on from there's something that that's a trouble here i'm going to clarify what's that this person is showing up very soon they're coming in they're coming in rushing in towards you very fast conversation very fast communication here intuitively you know some things intuitively it's like something that's making you happy because whatever you did it's going to be a reaction to that thing you have made a very practical decision or you've made some very you've taken some very practical stands here i see you've taken the leap of faith or you're deciding to do that and that energy is getting manifested manifested i'm sorry <laughs> and for a lot of you i'm picking up that um, if you've been manifesting a change in this person by some means the change is happening Nine of Cups. The change is happening. Your cards are very positive here. Very positive. Ace of Pentacles, Death, and Judgment. I see a revival happening in this person's life. They are going through a deep phase of transformation. For a lot of you, I see a new business opportunity also for them. It's like they're moving towards, or they are coming to a place where they're going to be getting some new business opportunities. Definitely an energy where this person is up for a new beginning. This person is getting ready for a new start. Look at this. There's a revival happening for a lot of you. I'm picking up uh, Scorpio that this person didn't give another chance to somebody. This person didn't give another chance to somebody. Ace of Pentacles because they were hoping for a new beginning with you, possibly. Let's clarify what's happening further. Let's clarify. Ten of Wands, Hanged Man, Seven of Cups. Things are really confusing between you both. The commitment is strong. If you ask me, the partnership, the commitment is very strong. Yeah, this person is passionate about you. Oh, for a lot of you, you might turn down somebody's offer because you're already married or because you are in a commitment. It can be a fire sign you're turning down here, Scorpio. But I feel that. Uh, when it comes to this person i see a very positive energy on your front honestly your perspective your thought process your working further is very positive but there's some baggage there's some responsibility that's that's that you're carrying that's weighing you down this person is stuck into something we need to clarify if you ask me honestly uh, what is their thought process this is a very emotional person that you're dealing with and they are going through some some massive change in their life and especially when it comes to understanding they're going through a change where their understanding of things are changing some some massive changes there you might feel that things are confusing at the moment you both can't see clearly there's a lot of confusion and you're feeling weighed down because you want things to be very practical but this person is definitely going through a transformation that you can't see right now their perspective changes happening in the near future you're going to see that this person's 
perspective has completely changed about some things. That's going to be a positive shift. All the cards are altogether positive, honestly. I'm picking up more or less positive cards for this person also and for you also. It's just that they are emotionally damaged. You know, I don't know. I don't know. There's no big card as making us, you know, so that I can make a sweeping statement that this person is emotionally damaged. But I'm feeling this from within that this person is definitely emotional emotionally broken or something like that let's see what is this knight of swords what is this knight of swords rushing in towards you what is this knight of swords okay few cards flipped over chariot is there bottom of the deck so we have queen of pentacles eight of wands and hierophant queen of pentacles and eight of wands are in the reverse position and hierophant is upright hmm i feel that because of some reasons, there's lack of communication that's causing a lot of instability in the situation. But the thing is, their commitment, see how fun twice, their commitment towards you is so strong, is so strong that they just can't avoid the conversation. They're rushing in for you. This person feels committed to you, Scorpio. They have this deep commitment towards you. Why, why are you carrying this load? What's this load we're talking about? Lovers? Nine of Pentacles, Seven of Wands. Yeah, you have to make a decision here. For a lot of you, you're already married. And that can be one of the reasons why you're not under, you're not uh, entertaining this person. You have to make a choice. You, you might even block somebody very soon. Because you have made the choice to stay in a commitment possibly. Ten of Cups, Hierophant. Why is this person stuck? You're coming from a place of blocking an opportunity or an offer because of an important commitment of your life. King of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Three of Swords, Ten of Swords. Yeah, see, it just came out of my mouth. I don't know why. In pa in in previously in this reading, that somebody is emotionally damaged. This person is emotionally damaged. Look at the swords here. They're trying to act cold. They're trying to act like a King of Swords. They're trying to act logically, but the reality is that this person is heartbroken. They're super heartbroken, hurt, and damaged. And Ten of Swords is showing me that they're trying to conclude something in their life. Moon, they're so disappointed. Um, yeah, you know, it's from the very beginning I'm getting this energy. What is this King and Queen of Cups energy? They have this energy towards you. They're trying not to care. Why are they doing this? Five of Wands, Conflict. Nine of Swords. Nine of Pentacles. It's like they want to move forward positively in a stable way. But there are some things that are haunting this person. This person is going through a deep emotional mental conflict. That makes sense, Scorpio. This person is going through a deep emotional mental conflict. And they're moved, moving on from that energy. What, what is this King of Cups? Let me clarify once. <clears throat> Why are they so emotional here? Justice in the reverse position. This person feels that something has happened very unjustified in their love matters. Feeling cold and abandoned. Something in their love matter has happened. They feel unjustified. They feel something was unfair. It's bugging in them. Something has been unfair. Something has been unfair. Judgment. Yeah. Five swords. Oh my god. There's a past person who's trying to reconnect with them. And feeling very emotional. They, they, it's like they love you. But uh, because of some reasons, they're getting this deep feeling that uh, somebody's trying to connect to them. Five of Swords, some very strong manipulation is going on in their life. And somehow they're feeling that things are very unfair, unjustified. Four of Cups, they're feeling very dissatisfied. And a very tough cycle of their life is coming to an end. Very tough cycle. This person is feeling damaged. To an extent that they're feeling that I'm lost. Ten of Swords, Three of Swords. Oh my God. Two of Swords tried flipping over. Where is the situation heading? I see things are a little confusing at the moment. The next few days, you might even feel that things are so confusing. I don't know what's what's happening between me and them. You're trying to resist confusion. They're surrendering. High Priestess. Knight of Swords. Page of Swords. Yeah. Wow. I see clarity coming in very soon. King of Cups is here again. They're so guarded. They're so guarded. They're so attracted to you. They won't talk to you, Scorpio. There's definitely a third person involved in the picture, I feel. Definitely some third past person involved in the picture. They're trying to move on from that person, I feel. 
but that person is definitely after this uh, energy. I see judgment twice. There's a past person who's trying to reconnect with this person and they're definitely trying to end that cycle. Definitely trying to end that cycle. You'll be hearing some clarity very soon, some news very soon. Maybe from them, from their own mouth, or something surrounding that. That's going to reaffirm your intuition about the situation, Scorpio. Keep your um, eyes open, ears open. Be receptive to the information and news coming towards you because I see some, some news or some revelation is Knight of Swords, Page of Swords coming your way. That's going to reaffirm reconfirm your intuition it's whatever your heart is telling you that's true about this person this person is under some sort of influence they're hurt they're panicked and they're not happy they're not about they, they're not okay with some things where is the situation heading for scorpio let's see round and round this actually flipped over so i'm going to take it in a way that there's a pattern repeating in your life there's something that's going in cycles but this person is realizing that I will have to end that pattern, go the distance. I see some effort will be needed to end a pattern, 